How do you express your feelings about someone or something in Tagalog? Stick around and find out. Kumusta po kayo? Welcome back to my channel, Let's Go Tagalog, your guide in your journey in learning the beautiful language, Tagalog. Before we dive into our topic for today, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you will be updated of new videos that I will be coming out regularly. This is a continuation of our discussion on a huge topic the Tagalog personal pronouns. I hope you had a chance to watch the previous videos so that this video will make sense to you. If you haven't, please check out the previous videos to get you on track. We have completed group 1 several episodes ago and have begun our discussion on group 2 personal pronouns. In summary, group 2 pronouns are used in the following instances. As a possessive pronoun expressing one's ownership of something. We have discussed this previously. In what is called object focus sentences, we covered this one in the last video. In phrases that talk about oneself, which is the subject of this video. As a temporal adverb, as a preposition, as a part of a question. I have just realized that there are more uses of group 2 personal pronouns and I don't know why I forgot to mention them in the previous videos. Anyway, you also use them in imperative sentences and in exclamatory sentences. In this video, we will be talking about group 2 personal pronouns and how to use them when talking about oneself. And I can think of four conditions when you can do this. These are when expressing a feeling towards someone or something, when expressing a desire to do something, when expressing one's ability to do something, and when expressing one's awareness of something. These will be our subtopics. Now, tackling these subtopics will be a bit long, and I don't wish to confuse you or bore you. So I'm going to make it easier by breaking them down into four videos starting with this one. And this is the subtopic of expressing feelings towards someone or something. But before that, let me show you a chart that will show you where we are in our discussion on a huge topic on Tagalog personal pronouns. We are still in the discussion of group two personal pronouns and we are talking about when they are used. And we are on the topic of when talking about oneself. Under that, there are four conditions for the use of group two personal pronouns. These are our four subtopics. I hope that's clear. So now, on to our discussion on our first subtopic. When expressing a feeling towards someone or something. In discussing this subtopic, we will be using four new Tagalog words. Well, verbs actually. And they are mahal, love, gusto, like, kailangan, need, ayaw, I don't like, or I don't want. We will use these words to form simple Tagalog sentences using the verb, subject, object, or VSO sentence pattern. This pattern may look intimidating, but it's actually not. If you have been watching my videos, you have seen most of these elements before. If not, you can always binge watch the previous videos. You can also check out my playlist and check out the videos under personal pronouns. Using this pattern is simple. Start with the verb, then add the subject, which are group two pronouns, then add the object. The object of the sentence can be any of these three. A group two pronoun, in the case of ayaw, we use group 3 pronouns, and I will explain that later. A proper noun, a name of a person or names of two or more persons. Or a common noun with exceptions. Alright, let's try using this sentence pattern using the word mahal, the Tagalog word for love. Mahal ko ikaw, I love you. Mahal ko kayo, I love you all. Mahal ko siya, 
I love him or I love her. Mahal ko sila. I love them. Mahal ko ang Pilipinas. I love the Philippines. Mahal ko ang mga magulang ko. Ko is used here as a possessive pronoun. I love my parents. Mahal ko ang bayan ko. I love my country. You may use any of group 2 personal pronouns as subject and the sentence will still make sense. Let's move on to gusto, the Tagalog word for like or want. It is borrowed from the Spanish gustar, which means to like or to be pleasing to. Gusto ko ikaw. I like you or I want you. Gusto ko kayo. I like all of you or I want all of you. Gusto ko siya. I like him or I like her or I want him or I want her. Gusto ko sila. I like them or I want them. Gusto ko ng kape. I like coffee or I want coffee. Gusto ko ng prutas. I like fruits or I want fruits. Gusto ko ang Korea. I like Korea. Contextually, it's just I like Korea. Gusto ko ang mga kaibigan mo. Mo is used here as a possessive pronoun. Contextually, it can only mean I like your friends. Gusto ko ang damit mo. Contextually, it means I like your clothes. Or, I like what you're wearing. Again, you may use any of the group 2 personal pronouns as subject. There is another word for gusto, and that is nais. However, it is not commonly used as it is seen to be too archaic. You will normally hear this word in very formal speech or read it in literature. But in everyday conversation, you can use gusto. Now, let's move on to kailangan, the Tagalog word for need. Kailangan ko ikaw. I need you. Kailangan mo ako. You need me. Kailangan natin siya. We need him or we need her. Kailangan namin sila. We need them. Kailangan niya siya. He or she needs him or her. Kailangan nila tayo. They need us. Kailangan ko ng pera. I need money. Kailangan ko ng mga gamot. I need medicines. Kailangan ko ang kotse. I need the car. Kailangan mo ang mga papeles. You need the papers or documents. Kailangan mo ang tulong ko. Ko here is used as possessive pronoun. You need my help. Alright, let me backtrack a bit. In my previous examples, I showed you Mahal ko ikaw, gusto ko ikaw, kailangan ko ikaw. What if I told you while these phrases are grammatically correct, we don't normally use them. We say, mahal kita, gusto kita, kailangan kita. What's going on here? You may ask. This is one of those instances when you use the personal pronoun, kita. But this is a topic for another day. For now, be aware that I love you is mahal kita, I like you is gusto kita, and I need you is kailangan kita. Got it? Now, let's move on to ayaw. A very convenient word that means I don't like and I don't want. Just one word to express dislike. In discussing ayaw, we will be touching on group 3 pronouns. While the subject of the following sentences are group 2 pronouns, the object are group 3 pronouns. Ayaw ko sayo. I don't like you or I don't want you. Ayaw mo sa akin. You don't like me, or you don't want me. Ayaw natin sa kanya. We don't like him or her, or we don't want him or her. Ayaw namin sa kanila. We don't like them, or we don't want them. Ayaw niya sa kanya. He or she doesn't like him or her, or he or she doesn't want him or her. Ayaw nila sa atin. They don't like us, or they don't want us. Ayaw ko ng pera mo. Mo here is used as possessive pronoun. I don't want your money. Here, the context is clear. It is, I don't want your money. And not, I don't like your money. So is the next example. Ayaw ko ng mga dahilan mo. I don't want your excuses. I know I haven't discussed group 3 pronouns yet. But it is best to be aware of these new ones. There are other ways of expressing dislike other than using the word ayaw. Like, hindi ko mahal, I don't love, 
hindi ko gusto, I don't like, hindi ko kailangan, I don't need, and so on. But that is a topic for another day. That's about it for now. I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, please hit the like button. I will really appreciate it. In the next video, we will be talking about the second condition, when to use group 2 pronouns, when talking about oneself. I hope you don't miss that. I will see you then. Maraming salamat at hanggang sa susunod!